it's Abby and welcome back to my art channel. So last week, no, actually last month pa siya, a friend of mine sent me a photo of an anime character na si Self Phantom Hive from the anime series Black Butler. Pero dahil nga medyo, uh, hindi pala medyo, talagang nahumaling ako sa pagpo-portrait drawing for this past few weeks. Kaya hindi ko agad na-draw yung request niya sa akin na i-draw ko daw yun. But for today's video, I decided to draw it. But instead of drawing the exact anime character, gagawin kong medyo ano, semi-realistic ang drawing ko ngayon. So, shout out to you, Dane, and I hope you're watching this video. Sana magustuhan mo ang drawing ko for today. Ang pinakauna ko talaga yung ginagawa before ako next to start my drawing is I make grid lines. I use half an inch as the measurement for my grid, both in horizontal and vertical. And as for the pencil naman, ginagamit ko yung may pinaka light shade at for me I use 5H graphite pencil. At first, 1 inch talaga ang ginagamit kong sukat sa bawat squares ng grid ko. But as for now, mas prefer ko ngayon ang half an inch kasi based on experience ko lang, mas makukuha mo yung reference photo mo, mas magagaya mo yun at mas makukuha mo ang mga tamang proportions kung mas maliliit ang squares na gagamitin mo sa grid mo. And as for making the grid, dapat hindi mo idiin yung lapis. Dapat light lang yung lines na ginagawa mo para madali lang siyang burahin. Using the same 5H pencil, ay i-draw ko na ngayon ang outline ng aking drawing. Tips lang guys para maging mukhang semi-realistic or realistic yung drawing nyo, make your outline lighter as much as you can. Iwasan natin ang paggawa ng mga darker lines sa drawing natin. Kasi sa totoong buhay naman, wala naman talagang makakapal na linya nakikita sa pagmumukha natin, hindi ba? Sa eye part naman, this is when we can use darker pencils. Usually, gumagamit ako ng 2B at 8B pencil sa mata. But before ko yun ginagamit, gumagamit muna ako ng 2H pencil bago ko yun sa pawa ng mas darker uh, shade of pencil. So, parang light to dark yung pagsishades ko, guys. And using the powdered graphite sticks, soft lang yung gamit ko, gumagamit ako ng brushes para i-apply ito. And as for making naman sa eyebrow, yun pa rin ang technique na ginagamit ko. Gagamit muna ako ng 2H pencil bago ako pupunta sa mas darker pencil which is the 2B and 8B pencil. Pag lagay ko ng powder, ibiblend ko siya using makeup brushes or pwede lang din naman cotton buds or cotton pwede din may blending stuff. And making the hair naman, although nasa learning stage pa rin ako, pero sa mga Tinuturo nila sa akin, ang sabi nila is dapat kapalan natin yung part sa hair. Use darker pencils for the hair part. So, yun lang talaga yung technique. Actually guys, hindi naman talaga natin kailangan magmadali upang ma-achieve natin yung semi-realistic or realistic drawing. Ang importante is nagpa-practice sa'yo at nagpa-practice. And we must accept criticisms and suggestions. Dapat makinig tayo sa mga tinuturo ng iba para mas mag-improve yung ginagawa natin. Then, be open-minded lang talaga. Do not give up and try and try until you succeed. And as for the final touch, do not forget to erase your grid lines to make your drawing cleaner and more presentable. Then, at the final, at the end, you can put your signature or your name or whatsoever. So, this is my own semi-realistic drawing of Cell Phantom High from Black Butler, guys. I hope you like it. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and please kindly subscribe onto my channel. See you guys in next week since I will be posting videos every single Mondays and Fridays. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye!